Hey there. So I have this awesome outdoor space. You can kind of see a little bit of it behind me, but um, uh, I didn't really make good use of it before. Uh, so for the last couple of weeks, I've been renovating it. I put a fire pit in, built up some privacy walls, did a little bit of gardening, and it's, it's nice now. It was nice before, but it's obviously nicer now. Uh, but then I got to thinking, there's a big wall there. So I wonder, could we do an outdoor theater setup kind of thing? Now I know that it's not gonna be perfect. Um, number one, that wall is filthy, so we're probably gonna clean it. Number two, it's not mine, so I can't really bolt anything into it, and I'm a little hesitant to paint, paint it, but I might paint it. Um, and number three, it's stucco. Um, and I'm about to show you how textured it is, so, um, We'll see, but uh, my hopes are that I can just project on the wall and just, you know, the picture is what it is. So, cause like, I I'm not expecting like perfect picture quality. If I want that, I have this right here. It's LGCX, you know, I, I could just come inside and watch it there. Uh, but for now, my buddy just dropped off a projector, um, a new in-box projector, actually. It's a uh, NEC BE281X. Um, I'm not going to be using this in the final setup, uh, but I wanted to test something uh, without having to spend money on like a new projector to only for it to not work and then I'll have to spend even more money to, you know, get it all working. Um, but the idea is that um, I'm going to build a uh, ladder shelf setup right here um, and have it shoot out the window into the wall. And uh, we'll have, you know, Fire TV, probably some retro games on it. Uh, people can come over, we can catch a game, or, you know, just have some chill outdoor movie watching going on out there. That's the idea anyway. But uh, let's go take a look at the wall. So, as you can see, It, uh, it's pretty rough. Um, it's not like, <laughs> it's not smooth at all. Uh, and also there's a giant stain going up the length of the wall, uh, right, right, around, right around where I would want to project. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work um, without a little bit of adjustment. Um, but uh, tonight I'm gonna project a, a test screen up here, see what happens, see what it looks like. Um, the brightness on that projector, it's kind of old, but the brightness on it is about the same as the one that I'm looking to buy. So it should work uh, as far as knowing what we're, what we're dealing with picture quality wise. Um, I'm expecting it to look a little grainy because of the texture on the wall, um, but maybe we can fix that with a coat of paint, I don't know. Uh, I really don't want to mount anything on the wall, but we might be able to. All right, so I have commandeered my uh, cat's uh, cat tree for a moment so that I can test this out. That's really not bad. I mean, obviously there's a hot spot because, you know, the wall is filthy. Fil filthy. Filthy. <laughs> um, but, like, let's, let's go take a look. totally serviceable. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now we just gotta build all the stuff up and clean the wall. Maybe we'll paint it, but that works. For time, all right, here we go. The minefield's alive and the tank lineup is trying to desperately hold on to contest this point. The team of Ops so, them off very tough. Here's the uh, final product. Got the screen up. Uh, wireless speakers working out good. Fire pit's covered up right now, but you know, we'll try that out tomorrow night. Um, so we'll get, get some updated pictures. But here's the whole thing. Pretty sweet. Give you a tour of uh, 
we got going on back here. So it's a little messy when in use. Um, you know, I got cables coming out, but uh, I'll uh, I'll bring a, I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like when it's all away. But um, yeah, I don't think there's a way to have it look nice uh, in use. Maybe there is. I don't think it really matters though, because you know. I'm only gonna hook it all, I'm only gonna turn it on when I'm out there, so there's really no point in me having it constantly plugged in. Uh, but maybe we'll get a different extension cable. But, you know, shoe rack, cat rack, <laughs> projector, and then hidden behind that is the switch. Uh, that's That sign does light up, and you know, I thought it was kinda cute, so I picked it up. Uh, I do have letters for the bottom part. Um, battery powered candles, uh, just to kinda dress it up a little bit more. And I picked up a pretty cool uh, wood dish here for keys, wallets, phone, whatever. I'll probably just keep the remotes on it. But so far, so good. Hi, uh, Will from the future. Uh, so uh, I wanted to take a moment here to uh, talk about the projector and the screen that I went with. Because uh, I realized that uh, some of the footage that I had shot for it was not... Um, I mean, it was fine, but um, also the speakers, because uh, I didn't really detail that too much. So as far as the screen goes, I don't know too much about projection screens. I just kind of picked one that uh, was highly rated on Amazon, and that ended up being the Deluxe uh, Screens Manual 100-inch 4K Ultra HDR screen. I don't know if any of that actually matters. I mean, in this case, it doesn't, because the projector isn't a 4K HDR projector, so... But hey, if, if that matters and I end up with a 4K HDR projector at some point, I guess I'm ready. I don't know. Uh, you can actually see it back there leaning up against the corner. Um, it's 100 inches, but it ends up working out to about 85, 90 um, once, it's, once it's up on the wall. Uh, as far as the um, audio goes, the speakers are uh, Soundcore flares. Uh, and they are, they are the original version because so, I, I wanted those specifically because they had stereo pairing and the new versions only do 360 audio pairing and it's like they can pair up to 99 different things. Uh, it mattered to me to have stereo separation. So that's why I went with the originals. Uh, the transmitter that I'm using, uh, the Bluetooth uh, transmitter and receiver is the Tautronics Bluetooth 5.0 transmitter. This actually has APTX support, uh, while the speakers that I picked uh, do not. Um, now, I'm, I'm bringing that up because uh, for some people, you may be a little sensitive to audio latency. Um, I am not as especially sensitive to it, and I haven't noticed um, any kind of audio delay while watching you know, movies, TV, playing games. Uh, but I did have someone come over, and they did notice um, that there is a small amount of delay uh, or a small amount of latency between the speakers, um, you know, what you hear and what you see. I didn't see it. Uh, you may not see it, but um, if you're worried about it, don't get the sound core flares. Uh, get a Bluetooth speaker that supports APTX, um, and that should that should resolve your problem. This it's extremely low latency. Uh, the Tautronics Bluetooth 5.0 transmitter supports APTX, so. Um, and as far as the projector goes, I, I ended up with an HD 146X uh, uh, from Optima. Uh, I'm going to say, try to avoid any of those dumb 1080p, like, no-name brand um, projectors that, you know, like, sometimes they advertise that they're smart projectors. Um, if it doesn't have an ANSI Lumen rating on it, you don't want it. Uh, a lot of those weird knockoff no-name brands, they will advertise complete bullshit um specifications and you know they're just trying to get you to buy it they just whatever they can do to get you to buy that thing they're gonna do it um i mean i've seen some of them that literally advertise lumen ratings that is brighter than the sun <laughs> uh so don't don't do it the other the other thing is is you're gonna find a lot of um uh all-in-one smart projectors from companies like anchor and uh LG actually um, and uh, Xiaomi 
Uh, these are more travel oriented. I'm not saying that they're bad, but they are definitely, they definitely seem to be more oriented towards people or more targeting people that want to take them like camping or something. I don't know if it would be good for a permanent setup. Uh, I've also read that they have some pretty severe latency issues as, as far as the HDMI port goes. Uh, so if you intend to do any kind of gaming on it, uh, you may not want to use those, but, um, uh, the ones from Anchor, LG, and Xiaomi seem to be pretty good. Uh, that's if you just want to do just TV. Um, but as for me, uh, I planned on doing a little bit of gaming. Um, so uh, low input latency mattered. Um, so I went with the HD 146X. Well, sort of. I ordered an HD 143X. Uh, now, as of right now, I believe Amazon has finally delisted the HD 143X. Um, I'm actually going to look. Yes, the HD 143X has finally been, been delisted. But at the time of when I purchased it, it was still up for $500. And when I ordered it, I got an HD 146X in the mail. Um... There's some pretty big differences between the two. Big one being uh, one of them has two HDMI ports and the other one doesn't. Uh, the one that doesn't is the 146X. I call um, I called Amazon, complained about it. They gave me a 50% off discount. So essentially, I got a s almost $600 projector for half off. So can't really beat that. Uh, I just make it work. I mean, the picture quality is excellent. Um, it's very sharp, very bright. Uh, colors look great. Um, could you could do a lot worse? <laughs> Let's just uh, put it that way. Um, and it has a game mode too, as well. So you know, if if, if the default latent, if the default input latency is is even too much for you, then you can always pop it into game mode. But be aware you can't use the uh, keystone adjustment if you do that. Uh, and then finally, the way it's mounted. Um, you may have noticed it in some of the other clips. I just had it sitting on that shelf. Uh, I actually grabbed a um, low profile uh, monitor mount, uh, mounted it upside down on the shelf that it was sitting on when you last saw it. Um, uh, that way uh, I could adjust the um, height and level of the monitor independently of the shelf. Since my floors are uneven, um, it was a little crooked when I uh, put it when I initially was using it. So now I'm able to adjust it. So it's not as crooked. Um, I mean, there's not there's only so much you can do, <laughs> um, but it seems pretty, pretty good to my eye, but that's it. So uh, that's, that's the setup. I'm actually going to take a second. I'm going to go run out there and uh, shoot a little bit of extra stuff. So you can see uh, what it looks like now, uh, now that all the changes have been made and there's actually some extra additions in there too that i think you'll probably like let's go take a look all right so here's the finished product uh so i got the sign there's actually a switch hiding back there uh second shelf is uh controllers remotes anything that i would uh need to make all this stuff work and so throw my keys ball out there uh third shelf is speakers uh the projector which is now propped up on the mount that i mentioned uh, and uh, since we came under budget, I went ahead and picked up an Xbox Series S uh, that is running RetroArch. Uh, I do retro games. Uh, I play stuff that doesn't require too too much in the way of Twitch reflexes. I just sort of, you know, a lot of RPGs going on out there. Um, a little bit of Final Fantasy X, uh, Yakuza, uh, Dead Cells, that kind of stuff. Second to last shelf is the cat bed, because my cat claimed it. He likes to watch birds out there. There he is. And the last one's a shoe rack. Um, all told, minus the Xbox, because again, we did come under budget and I, I decided to splash out a little bit. Um, it was about 750 bucks to do all this. Um, that includes the uh, fire pit, actually, and all the stuff to get the wall uh, ready for the uh, projection, projection screen. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my outdoor theater setup. Um, make sure you, if you like this, make sure you, uh, hit like on the video, uh, subscribe if you want more, 
you know, that helps me out. Uh, if you want to chat, head on over to discord.com forward slash epostbox. I know, that's not me, but that's where I hang out. And there's a lot of cool creators there. Uh, so come on over, hang out. Um, and also, make sure you head over to backingtrack.gg. That is my royalty-free rock and heavy metal music service. We started it for creators like you. If you're a streamer and you want rock and heavy metal in your streams, there's only one place to go, and that's backingtrack.gg. But that's all I got for you. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.